Hi everybody. Well, it has been so long since I've imaged. I, I'm really excited tonight. It's really clear and I'm going to image M96 and M95 tonight. That's my plan. I made a video last night where I set this, um, set the direction up in uh, under the uh, objects. I went over here and added it to my to-do list. So I'm going to just <coughs> Uh, zero in on that when it gets dark. It's getting dark now. It's dusk right now. But one of the uh, things I want to show you right now is I want to talk about dithering. I'm going to shoot 60 second exposures. I'm going to do luminosity, R, G, and B eventually. I don't know if I'll get it all in tonight because I don't have a great field of view here. But I'll get at least two, possibly three of those channels done. And I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to do 60 second exposures. Now, when you dither, um, you want to do what's reasonable. Now, if you're doing like five-minute exposures, you're probably going to want to dither every, on every frame. Be but if you're doing less than that, like if you're only doing 90-second exposures, I usually, d I, or I have been dithering um, every other uh, exposure. I could probably go every third or every fourth uh, for that um, for, for, for that dithering. You want, as I said, you want to do it what's reasonable. And the reason is this. Dithering takes anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds per dither. And if you're taking less than one minute exposures, I know some people do 30 second exposures, dithering on every frame, yeah, it's going to possibly more than double your time. And you're going to get more bang for your buck if you just collect exposures. So that's where I, uh, that's where I say you want to dither uh, when you're dithering do what is reasonable so as I said I'm gonna take 60 second exposures and I think I'm gonna do every fourth uh, image I'm gonna dither that and the way to set dithering up in astrophotography tool is you come over here to gear and you go to uh, maybe it's in camera no, no it's in guide and here's all the settings you want dithering on and here's dithering stability. I, I usually leave all these settings alone. I really haven't changed any of these settings. But the one I am going to change is this one right here where it says dither on images. If you set this number to zero, it's going to dither on every image. If you set it on one, it's going to dither every image. If you set it for two, it's going to dither on every other image. And that's what I have been doing. But as I said, uh, right now I'm going to try, since I'm going to do 60 second exposures, I'm actually going to do dithering on every uh, fourth uh, image. So one quarter of the time I'm going to be dithering, and I'm going to hit OK. I used to not dither at all when I, um, when I first started astrophotography, but um, now, like I said, now, I'm, now I am dithering, and it uh, seems to have some effect. Uh, what dithering does, uh, just uh, as long as I have you here, is it will move the scope just a tiny bit and take the your exposures and the idea is this the stars will move relative to that tiny um, shift you do but if you have some type of artifact a hot pixel or something like that that's gonna stay the same and when you stack your images uh, the, the stacking program is going to recognize or know that this pixel hasn't moved no matter what orientation is whereas your stars they're going to be referenced to each other because the stacking is going to reference the stars and not these little hot pixels and so it will remove those uh, hot pixels so that's the idea of dithering and why it um, why it's important anyways I hope this is all I, I may come back on here later on when I'm actually imaging so I can show you what it's uh, looking like. So stay tuned. See you in a bit. Well, hello everybody. I'm back. I just wanted to follow up on my uh, dithering uh, video. And I'm really excited tonight. Everything's working out pretty well so far. It's a beautiful night. And as you can see on my screen, I'm imaging. I'm taking luminosity right now, and I'm doing 60-second exposures. And I'm dithering every fourth exposure. 
I can show you my guiding right now and here it is this is what my guiding looks like and it looks pretty good pretty good I actually did a meridian flip a few minutes ago so it's um, uh, so I'm on the other side of meridian right now and everything looks pretty good uh, I decided to go with uh, Exposure finished. 10 degrees this time around I uh, minus 10 degrees for the camera sensor. Exposure I was using started. minus 20, but now I'm using uh, minus 10 because we're getting into the warmer season. And I also, I should mention down here, I've never really mentioned this before. This is Team Viewer. So I'm outside right now with the scope because I did the flip and did some other stuff out here. But actually, I'm I, I'm usually recording and, and, and doing all this stuff in the house. And this computer out here is a drone computer so I use this uh, program called Team Viewer. It's rather expensive if you're using it for business uh, for business purposes but if you're using it for personal use it's free and it works pretty well. So I can control everything in the house so what you see on the computer screen out here you'd actually see on my computer in the house. Anyways I think that's all and I wish you a good night. Uh, like I'm having right now. I'm very happy. I'm Exposure finished. back imaging again. Dithering it's been started. the first time in a month. I, I, I When I first started up today, I, I checked my um, hand controller and it said the, the last time I imaged uh, using the scope was March 24th. No, March 27th. And here it's April 24th. So anyways, uh, that's all. We'll see you later.